You guys are getting some local handles in town now? Yep, yep, these guys included. Zums, I hear it's the best chicken in the world. Do you want to come with us? Sure. Come Let's yeah. go and have a look. There's a food festival going on, apparently. That's what they say. Oh, that's right, you're in that food festival, yeah? Starting today. We've got a wild boar burger with a roasted red pepper salsa, falafel burger for the vegetarians, and a fried chicken burger. Food festival in Waterton is family style because that's how it works here. This is all about family. And this guy, but he's, uh, he's almost family. People come to Waterton for nature and the beautiful scenery, but there's a part of this town that I don't think you get to experience unless you spend time here. If you've never been here, the village is like no other place. It's quiet, it's quaint. You got all these family owned and operated businesses for generations. Everyone tries to carve out the niche market. You could eat here every day for a week at a different restaurant, a different flair of food, a different type of food, and it would be just totally different. That's why you guys are doing a food festival. This is year three. Yes. The events are fairly similar. So there's still the Thirsty Bear Social, which is tonight. All the restaurants in the park setting up a booth and giving their best signature dishes away. And some breweries. Uh, and we, some breweries. We met some of the fellows on yeah. the street already. So the good thing is, we ended up carrying all local craft breweries from all over Alberta in the new bar. So they're all coming out. Tomorrow is the Pie Cruise, which sells out <laughs> sort of instant. And then the chef's table's dinners, of course. My chef gets to pick everything he likes. I give him carte blanche. Buy what you want, do what you want, make sure everyone has an amazing time. You're the two cowboys. Are you, are you singing? Hopefully we're not singing too much. Yeah, we're excited to have you. Keep the people coming. I love your glasses. Aren't they cute? It's always the little things that makes it count. And, and little things like this just makes you stand up. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. It's, good. And it's good marketing. So, so the little loose cups that end up on the big rock table stand out. <laughs> <laughs> you got a food festival, there's a high standard. What are you saying? I say the standard's gonna be met, man. Do you guys know there's a food festival going on this weekend or is this just your regular hangout spot? We came all the way from Vancouver Island because we heard that there's gonna be a fun time tonight. What does it take to be a taco babe? Good jeans, probably. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what the secret is to your really beautiful fried chicken and wings. We they must tell you, that's the whole point. <laughs> Guten Tag. The king wiener. How are you doing? Very good, how are the cowboys? Good, man. Yeah. How do you get that that going so far it's called winter not cutting right you just, just let it roll you've got something spectacular here it's truffle mac and cheese that smells delicious it tastes even better man you know what you i'd like to have a piece yes uh, i don't really... have a spoon for you though that's fine i'll, I'll take this one bye. here we go yeah. bye bye why is the ladies taking so much they love the food you know i heard there's a food festival going on no this week. is there i didn't know <laughs> Keep your shoes so shiny because I'm having problems. Yeah, polish them. That sounds like work to me. It is work. It's All good, work. good things are worth working for. Isn't it? Yeah. Best tiny little pie shop in Waterton. That's what they call you. Oh, well, thank you kindly. <laughs> I like to hear that. It's pretty mm -hmm. nice. Tell me quickly, what kind of pies are you guys serving this year? We have a large selection of pies. We've mm -hmm. got Saskatoon berry pie. We've got Saskatoon apple, Saskatoon black currant, Saskatoon rhubarb. We have peach pies, cherry pies, apple pie, strawberry rhubarb. We bake all the pies here fresh. Why is there so much Saskatoon on the menu here in Waterton? Do you know? Because I see people tend to use it a lot. Well, Saskatoon is a native berry. It grows all over Canada but it grows all over the park too. It just has a fabulous flavor all of its own. It's amazing. You can pick it off the branches, off the trees. Well, now wait a minute, I could get in trouble here. <laughs> you can. No picking berries in the national park. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We have some fabulous pies from all over the town site, from all the different businesses. Thank you folks, you're gonna enjoy the pies and also enjoy this beautiful scenery that we have around us. 
How many businesses are participating? Uh, about eight businesses. And which one's your favorite? Uh, I haven't tried them all yet, but that ice cream pie has got my name on it. This is quite a unique experience you guys are doing here. Who came up with the idea? We actually took inspiration from actually Julie Van Rosendahl. Pie is sort of a staple here in Watertown. It doesn't yeah. matter where you go, they're always going to have a homemade pie. Here, can I eat pie while we're talking? What makes a good pie? A good crust. We, we had a discussion about whether or not like an ice cream pie is really a pie. If there's no crust, I think there has to be a crust. I'll eat it anyway. What's that? Oh, the strawberry biscoff from Wappleton. That's ice cream, it's not pie. Yeah, it's ice cream pie. Do you know you're lucky to get tickets? It's been sold out for a while. Well, yeah. I bought tickets like months ago. So. We had heard that the tickets were on sale, and we were just like, yeah, no way we're missing this. The diet starts tomorrow, right? I'd love some of that chocolate one as well, if I might have two slices. Uh, we had the Saskatoon berry and the strawberry rhubarb. The Saskatoon? We didn't know the Saskatoon. We're back in a minute. Back in a minute. Saskatoon berry pie. Let's go. Skipper, they told me they got the freshest berries off the bear. They shot it themselves. Awesome. There we go. Favorite pie, which one? Uh, definitely would have to be the, the fudge pecan from the Lakeside Chop House. Are they paying you to say that, or do you truly, honestly believe that's the best one? Yeah, that's, well, it's the only one I've had, but it was top-notch. Do you ever get bored of the scenery that's around you here? No, not at all. I've, I've lived here my whole life and been doing cruises for years, and every day is something new, and look at these mountains. Was there a special draw to get tickets to this particular event? Because I heard it was sold out for quite a while already. Got Indeed. the last two tickets. I heard they make the risotto with a lot of butter. We love butter. Butter is like bacon. We're into the duck. We're done. So the next is the steak. Well, strip loin. More butter. More butter. That's right. Well, they're going to butter you up for night. Which one's your favorite that you're making? I really like the duck wings. I got lots of good feedback last night. Uh, the, the food festival, people, people are loving it. <laughs> How has the week been so far? The week's been good so far. Yeah? Yeah, we're trying to work off some of the food festival. Well, that's the problem with the food fest, right? You gotta go up the bike ride to... That's the, that's the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> it's not a bad place to be, is it? Not a bad place whatsoever. There's not a lot of places that does breakfast here, do they? There's a few, but uh, a lot of them you, you sit down and get a full plate of sausage, pancakes and eggs. Uh, this is something you can grab quick, so... Uh, it's, it's a good option if you want to jump on the boat or if you're hide, head, heading up to an early morning hike. We're here at 7 a.m. with hot coffee and our, uh, and our breakfast dogs that obviously are Very good. delicious. Go we'll see how you guys do the waffles here in Waffleton. Are you in charge here? I don't know about that. You don't know? Some days. Right, tell me quickly about your waffles. What kind of waffles do we well, get here? We do a, a couple different kinds of waffles. We've got a Liège waffle. Right, it's, uh, it's sort of like a brioche dough, pearl sugar studded in there. That's the original way. That's that's yeah, the way yeah, it was done in classic. Belgium, right? Eh? Exactly. Right. And we've got a, a buttermilk Bruges style waffle as well, lighter and crispier. And so we can have it for breakfast then? Yeah, sure. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. Are you guys driving all the way from Calgary for a waffle as well? Salt Lake City, Utah. Wow. Yep. Did you know you're going to get authentic waffles here? It was, we absolutely knew. We come every year. There's a food festival going on this weekend. You're a part of that, yes? I am. We are offering shrimp ceviche tostadas and tleuras, which is like a Mexican pizza, essentially. How come Mexico and Waterton? Where's the idea come from? Um, because I wanted something different that no one else was offering. What do you guys make for the food festival? So for the food festival, one of our specialties is bison, and Saskatoon berries and ingredients that could be sourced locally. Big school. People tell me it's the best ice cream in Waterton. Is that true? Well, I'm prejudiced, but yes, it is. <laughs> How long have yes, you been sir. here? Oh, 35 years. Yeah? In the 35 years, which one is your favorite, or does it change? My favorite? I like butter pecan and tiger and then moose tracks. It's a vanilla based ice cream with chocolate fudge swirl and little uh, peanut butter cups.
Look at that. Nice. Now, who wants a snowball? Snowball? It's, got ice cream it's shaped ice with ice cream in the middle. Now you're telling me. There we go. Okay. See, this is a tower of shaped ice snowball. We're going to grab a spoon and share a shaped That's ice. That's the way to do it. The water tin hey, way. The water tin way. Do you make the sausage yourself, Steven? No, I just I get these um, sausages come from northern Alberta. They're really good, but then they're even better when they're smoked. Dip it in this curry you get, ketchup. You just make, get sure going. make sure you make sure it's not too hot. On it. See, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. That's, That's right. the way Waterton is done. Is you always find a little bit of influence from all over the world, and it's just a special place. That's right. And you never know what'll happen this next season. I really don't know, but we'll have to see. Good, well, we're coming back. Thank you. I promise you that. We're definitely coming back. You can drive around Waterton probably in about five or ten minutes, or you can spend a week here or two weeks and get to know the people. At least they'll remember you next time you come into the stores. But what we're really discovering is that to be part of Waterton, you have to spend a lifetime here. And that's why the food is so good. And you keep on coming back to Waterton. That's why we're here. That's why you should be here too.